All right, what's going on, you guys? Brian here with a uh, with my predictions for tomorrow night's Elimination Chamber event. Um, there are a total of five matches. Uh, one match that reportedly has been pulled from the card was uh, Lacey Evans challenging Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. Of course, anyone that watched this past Monday night on Raw uh, saw that Lacey Evans announced that she is pregnant. It is a legit pregnancy. She is pregnant in real life. And um, apparently they're going to use that in the storyline with her, Charlotte Flair, and Ric Flair. But uh, it is a legit pregnancy. She is pregnant in real life. So uh, reportedly this match has been pulled. Her versus, her versus Asuka for the Raw Women's title um, because they don't want to take any chances. So, uh, with that said, uh, they don't they ha haven't said anything about who I will if Oscar's even going to be defending the title tomorrow night, if there's going to be a replacement, or if there's even going to be a match at all. Um, one thing that I did see on social media was maybe the idea of having a a number one contender match on the kickoff show or on the show and having the winner, whoever wins, face Asuka at Elimination Chamber later on to, uh, for the Raw Women's title. So, um, like I said, I don't. they haven't said anything. They haven't reported anything online. So I haven't seen anything. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see tomorrow night. But, um... So tomorrow night's show doesn't look very promising. Like I said, there's five matches that have been booked, have already been made official. Uh, one of the big matches is going to be the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber match with Drew McIntyre defending against Jeff Hardy, Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and Sheamus, who will enter last because of his victory on Monday night. During the gauntlet match, uh, he will, Sheamus will enter last in the chamber, so that gives him a huge advantage. Um, in my opinion, um, huh, who am I going to pick to win? I'm going to say somehow, some way, Drew McIntyre retains the WWE Championship. Um, he outlasts the other five, which also begs to question, will The Miz cash in this Sunday, or tomorrow night, I should say, um, at Elimination Chamber? Because, you know, if anything, that is a good opportunity to cash in because, the, you know, we've seen in the past when Edge beat, was Money in the Bank back in 2006, he cashed in after John Cena uh, def successfully defended a w the WWE Championship inside Elimination Chamber, and he cashed in and won. So that could be the the moment, but we'll have to wait and see. But as far as picking a winner, I'm I'm gonna say Drew McIntyre retains. Uh, in the el second Elimination Chamber match, this one to see who will face Roman Reigns the very same night at the event. It's going to be Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, King Corbin, Daniel Bryan, and, C and Cesaro. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, all competing for an opportunity to face Roman Reigns for the Universal title on the very same night. Um, I feel like I'm, I see Kevin Owens winning and then losing to uh, Roman Reigns. And then Edge gets revenge on Roman for what he did last night on SmackDown and chooses him. And that's how they get to WrestleMania with Roman versus Edge. Um, so regardless, I see Kevin Owens winning the Elimination Chamber match. I, uh, I see Roman Reigns retaining against Kevin Owens. And then Edge chooses him 
to challenge him at WrestleMania for the Universal title. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, so those are the those are two matches in one. So the Elimination Chamber match, um, I see Kevin Owens winning and then challenging Roman Reigns for the Universal title and losing, and then Edge gets Roman Reigns uh, for what he did on SmackDown last night with spearing him after he speared Jay, um, after Edge speared Jay Uso after the six-man tag that Jay Uso was involved in with Sami Zayn and, and King Corbin against Kevin Owens, Daniel Bryan, and Cesaro. And that's how they get to WrestleMania with Roman Reigns and Edge. Um, for the United States Championship, as it stands right now, it is a triple threat match. Bobby Lashley versus Riddle versus Keith Lee. I say as it stands right now because they don't know um, the status for Keith Lee, if he's going to be a part of that match. Um, as far as medical wise, if he's going to even be medically cleared, um, you know, of course, with um, his fiance Mia Yim um, announcing, I think it was last month, that she had um, tested positive for COVID nineteen. You know, he hadn't said they have they didn't say about him testing positive, but he quarantined himself, and you know, they still don't know what the status what his status is going to be for the Elimination Chamber. If he's not able to compete, then it turns into a one-on-one -on -one match, Lashley defending against Riddle, which I think this will be Riddle's night to win the United States title. Even though Lashley has been dominant as champion, um, I see Riddle finally getting a big win and winning his first title on the main roster. So that's my official prediction for that one. If it does turn into a triple threat and Keith Lee is able to uh, participate, um, I'm going to say Lashley retains. I see Lashley taking advantage of a situation where Lee or Riddle hit 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 the other person with their finisher and Lashley ca uh, ca uh, capitalizes and picks up the win. So that's my official prediction for that one. Then the Women's Tag Team Championships will also be decided tomorrow night at Elimination Chamber as Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler defend against Bianca Belair and SmackDown Women's Champion Sasha Banks. Uh, this one was announced on last night's episode of SmackDown. Um, in my opinion, hmm, this one, I'm... Huh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Bianca Belair and and Sasha Banks to win the titles tomorrow night. Um, no disrespect to Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, but I feel like with the women's tag titles being defended on all three brands, and of course March 3rd is when, on the March 3rd episode of NXT is when Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez uh, get their opportunity at the women's tag titles. I think it's it would be right to have a babyface tag team defend against against them instead of a heel tag team. So I think Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks walk out tomorrow night as the new women's tag team champions. Uh, supposedly or reportedly uh, they're supposed to be adding some more matches because there's only five matches booked so far. So uh, we'll have to see what other matches they add. So with that in mind, this has been my predictions for tomorrow night's Elimination Chamber event. For those of you that are planning on watching the event tomorrow night, let me know what you guys think is going to happen in the comments below. As always, I am Brian, and I will see you next time.